Hi guys and welcome to a Mike's Positively Technical Review video. Um, today we're going to be having a look at chargers, works chargers, 20 volt ones to be exact. Um, yeah, we're going to be looking at the slowest to the very, very fastest and why they're really weird as well. <laughs> we're going to be having a look inside them, um, so you're going to be seeing all the, all the guts and all the glory uh, on some of them. Some of them just, yeah, very, very nasty. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean that in like a good way, but you'll see when we get there, all right? Um, so for the love of God, um, you're over there. Uh, I'm here. Uh, I'm doing stupid stuff. You're staying safely outside the camera. Um, so therefore, don't try what I'm about to do at home. Um, leave this. Um, you'll get to see them inside. You'll get to observe them, hopefully both sides and most of the boards. Uh, we can go why in a second that you don't see all of them. But um, yeah, enjoy the video guys, and as always, stay safe if I don't make it on the other side. Okay, first off, um, we're going to be doing times and charging times for 2 amp batteries, 4 amp batteries, 6 amp batteries. Those are the three main ones that obviously you can have in the UK at the moment. Uh, we do also have 5 amp batteries, uh, 5 amp somewhere between, the divisible between the two. Um, though theoretically it can charge faster, so I'm excluding them. Not only that, but I also haven't got my grubber mitts on them yet, so we'll be excluding those from the video. But let's crack on first. Chuck these to one side, and um, yeah, let's crack on with the main part of the video. So the first one we're going to be looking at is this. It is basically a plug and a adapter. It is called. You can probably see that better than I can. The Works WA3760. There it is. Um, specific output on it supposedly is 400 milliamps. So 400 milliamps, you're looking at about um, five hours, I think, is the uh, guide time for a two amp battery. 10 hours for a four amp, and a whopping 15 hours, or actually slightly more actually, for a six amp battery. Pretty much leave it on when the LED light, which is hiding in the middle there, uh, goes green, it's charged, okay? It's out of the way because it plays havoc with the focus. So inside here, uh, I can't actually split this open because it has no screw hole, uh, no mic accessibility. I think glued shut. But inside here is a simple um, DC rectifier. Uh, it turns the AC into DC. And it comes down the line here. And then inside this, and that's upside down. It's a very simple circuit board with very, very fine wires in it. Luckily, there's no capacitors of any danger in here, so we haven't really got too much issues to worry about. Um, this does, I think, he says. He thinks, yeah, it does come out. Um, and basically, the power comes in this side, goes through these multiple surface mounted diodes, goes through the little brain chipset, which basically senses it. Uh, this is available on all of the... Um, various different chipboard sets and pretty much does a protocol handshake it goes how much voltage have you got um what temperature are you at currently uh, and monitors that from there so that's what the t is there you've got battery negative battery positive and battery cell individual and on the other side here it's a single sided board so we have nothing but the connectors connectors simply slot into here on the underside and that actually pumps out constant 21 volts. I already have the voltmeter on it. 21 volts. Um, and Bob's your uncle. That's really not a lot more to it than that. It's a very basic charger. Very good slow charger as well. Um, not a lot to that one. Next up, you've got this. It's a very familiar charger. I'm sure most of you are familiar with. It's the Works WA3860. It's also capable of doing 14.4 volts, which is the uh, the lesser used cells, and it puts out two amps, uh, input 100 to 240 volts, and it's 50 watt power. It's worth noting that on the other end, we have got a UK plug. It's a standard three pin plug. Obviously, if you get into America, they just snip that off and uh, put a UK or a US plug rather on it with the two pin non-earth setup or however they put it and the same with European which is 100 to 240 volts but this is where we start getting a little bit more uh, careful when we're taking this apart because um, I've actually already made this video and I got electrocuted I'm not gonna lie to you 
Um, not badly, but it was enough to give me quite a shock and to not upload it due to some things that I said during the video, which are quite understandable. So on this board, he says, being very, very careful, you've got your hot end, this end, which is your input. Uh, it then goes through that, which is a uh, resistor or a capacitor, sorry, let's say a T-type capacitor. Then goes through that coil, which then summatively reduces it from 240 volts down to uh, the 21 volt system. Um, you've then got a couple of smaller capacitors, and then you, you'll notice I'm being very careful. I'm not. I need a stick for a non-conductive stick. What have we got, Mike? We've got this. That'll do. Um, that there that I'm very gingerly tapping. That is a 68, sorry, an 82 microfarad, 400 volt capacitor. Um, if, if you've got a dodgy heart and you touch those two terminals there, that's that one and that one, which I'm not going to touch because I'm I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm a little bit scared about that. Um, it wasn't this one that zapped me, it was the, the big boy, the four amp one. Um, it will give you a very nasty shock. I managed to get convulsions in my entire hand right up to my shoulder before it completely discharged. Uh, on there you can see the chipset, which uh, indicates the uh, the temperature and the current uh, internal uh, voltage for single cell. And you've got another couple of more tamer, I would say, um, capacitors. They are merely 6 farad. I think they are six powered um, capacitors. They're not too bad at all. And a very large uh, resistor, which I believe is like the hot stick resistor. That's kind of like the um, um, the, the the on off of the uh, entire system if it has a detector fault. Um, it's also a dual sided board. So on the other side, you've got various other components, um, lots of SMDs, lots of microscopic ones. I don't have good enough eyesight for those, but. Um, there you go, there's a nice close-up of it. So like I said, I'm being very, very cautious of this. I'm actually going to put these together. I've got some special uh, rubber gloves, like marigolds, I suppose, but they're industry standard ones for dealing with electrical stuff. Um, next up is the same charger, theoretically. Oh, by the way, the, the charge times for this, because it's 2 amp, is really, really simple. Uh, I don't have the instruction manuals for this one in particular, but the other one that's just trying to fling onto the screen here, uh, which is one that we're about to have a look at next, is WA3880. Um, and I do have the instruction manual for that. And it is quite simple as follows. Um, white balance being a little bit out there, of course, it's a flicker. But um, a 2 amp battery, it does in 58 minutes how with a two amp hour output i don't know um and a four amp hour it does 125 minutes i think that's due to the capacity of the batteries and by the time it gets four amps into it in two hours um it actually gets a little bit hot so it has to have a slight cool down period uh, to stop it going uh, overheating um, it starts to a, a chain reaction inside the lithium cells and really knackers them up is the best way to put it um but yeah if you've got a two amp cell 58 minutes so it's basically an hour, uh, four amp, two hours, and then just over three hours for a six amp battery. Uh, let's take a look in here. Um, I'll just put this one out of the way. So inside here, obviously I've undone all the screws. These are security screws, so you can't get into it yourself. You see it's a little bit more um, professional, if you like, a little bit more tamed um, version of the previous. You notice the um, the input's virtually exactly the same, goes through a T-type capacitor at the back here, um, and then goes through the coil, and then you still got the absolutely nightmarishly large um, capacitor, that's a, that is a 68 farad, uh, sorry, 68 microfarad, uh, 400 volt capacitor, which I'm not touching anywhere near, because like I said, they give really bad shocks, um, and I don't really want to have to go see a hard doctor to go and, uh, explain myself <laughs> probably ban me from doing the youtube videos for life uh and then obviously you've got the chipset there the chipset that does the uh identification side of stuff um i believe is tucked 
sort of underneath there. I believe that is actually the chip that does the handshake protocol, if you like. Um, it's also worth noting that this has got quite a simple uh, like Molex style connector that does unplug. It's got some goo around it. And some also very, very baby little, what are they? They're 10 microfarad uh, capac um, capacitors and they're only at five volts. Oof. I could almost lick one of those. Don't lick them. Seriously, don't. Um, but yeah, in comparison, when you get zapped by a 400 volt one, they are relatively tame. Let's just put that to one side. Um, as I said, the charge times on that are relatively similar. Can I get it in? No, he can't. Of course, he can't. Anyway, I'll sort that out later. Um, next on, we're going to be moving to the dual chargers. Uh, we're going to start off with this little prince. Here he is. Uh, this is the Works WA3869. It's got two amp hour output. It's out of the same series as the WA3880, only this time we've got two ports, so you can see quite easily here. It's out of the same series in inverted brackets. Um, it's clearly out of the same factory, it's got the same light setup as well. Um, interesting thing to note about this is it's a lot more compact, you'll see, than the 2 amp one, uh, even though it is 2 amp itself. Um, it's almost comparable side by side, um, and it's slightly smaller, and it's a lot thinner as well on the side. I know this is like split in half, but seriously, it's negligible uh, amount. It's almost half in every dimension. And one of the reasons behind that is quite simple. Um, the charger's DC uh, output, the 21 volt side, is actually in there. Um, so that spits out 21 volt DC. It's got a DC rectifier and the coil in there. It takes it from 240 volts down to um, 21 volts. Why is that not splitting? Oh, there's another one in the middle. Who would have funked it, eh? <coughs> nice little cheeky one there. Missed that one clearly. So here you go. Um, inside here is a relatively tame setup. Um, it's just got a very simple couple of capacitors there, single-sided board. That's the switch. Uh, the switch does magic, basically. It turns it from basically two one-amp outputs to a single two-amp output um, through that switch. So you sort of like put it on there, and then you can cycle through either two batteries or one battery output. So it does one battery even faster. And you've got the brain jar, if you like, there, um, that I believe is a two-in-one. So that does the push-button chip. Um, and a couple of SMDs on this one single side with two outputs which are sort of linked in parallel through um, this chip that then changes it into series as you request it. Um, all in all, it's a fairly simple setup. I'm not going to go through it. Well, actually, go on. I will. I'll teach grandma to suck eggs. So in single battery mode, it's simple. One hour, two hour, three hour. Or if you're doing two batteries simultaneously, it is two hours for two of these, four hours for uh, for two of those, <laughs> get the language right, um, and then it's three, three hours, six hours, six hours, sorry, for two six amp batteries. Or is it 12? I think I've got that wrong. I think it's 12 hours for two sixes, because it's one amp each. I'm not sure. Um, I might actually have to double check that and put that down in the uh, in the comments myself. I have to remember that one, right? Um, but yeah, that's the. Uh, it's usually supplied with the the WG seven seven nine E mower. Uh, it also features the keyhole system on that. It's eighty nine millimeters across. It's three and a half inches for the American followers, uh, and the previous ones as well feature that too. Let's put this to one side because we're starting to get a build up of chargers before we go into the bigger boys. Just free that up. That way I know what I've 
talked about. No, this is my little nemesis. This is the one that zapped me. Um, so here she is. She comes with a standard UK, or if you're in America, it's a US plug. And she's called the works WA3883. I like to call her the zapper. Number one, she zaps batteries really quickly. Number two, she's the one who actually zapped me. Um, Love-hate relationship, as you can gather. I love her and she clearly hates me. Uh, so inside here, so, there she is. A little, little zapper. That's it. Didn't mean to do me any harm. So I'm just going to try and take these Molex connectors off. With these Molex connectors off, it makes it a lot easier for you guys to see. Um, you've got a very similar setup. I'm not going to take this uh, off, but you've you've seen the double-sided board setup with lots and lots of the SMDs. Um, and here on the top there, you have a 400 volt, and that's a 120 microfarad capacitor. It really, really hurts. Don't mess around with it. You also got various jumpers here on this side. Point to using that. Um, so you've got a couple of jumpers there. And a very large heat sink both sides. That's because this can put out 4 amp, but it doesn't have an active fan. You've got two LEDs, one here, one here. They're bicolored, so they're green and red. Um, that works by going green one side through it, and then if you reverse the polarity, it magically makes it red. Um, I'm sure you can find your own videos regarding um, how dual light or dual, dual colored LEDs work. Um, they're very very mysterious. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. But it's also automatic, um, so like switching. So when it switches between um, one pack doing four amps or two packs at two amps, um, it automatically switches that. So if you put, only put one pack in, it will charge it at four amps. If you put two packs in, it will charge both of them at two amps. This means that it will take. I'll get this right. Half an hour to do two of these, 15 minutes to do one of these? No, that can't be right. Like, half an hour to do one, an hour to do two. <laughs> it's so like confusing. I really should have write this down. To do one of these, it will take an hour. To do two of these, it will take two hours. To charge one of these, it's one hour. And a half, one and a half hours. And to charge two of them, it's three hours. I don't know why I'm guessing. Because, funny enough, right here I've actually got the manual for the WA3883. Which is, which one it is. Yeah, it's making sure. And it will now reiterate exactly what I've just told you. But it was reading it from the piece of paper. Which says, two of these will take half an hour. Two of th one of these will take half an hour. Two of these will take one hour. One of these takes one hour, two of these takes two hours. One of these takes one and a half hours, and two of these takes three hours. There we go. Whew. I'm glad we're over and done with that one. There's not really a lot to say. Like I said, I'm not going to take that off because it's just a lot more screwing around. <laughs> it's a nice little joke reference to my previous video where I was playing around with very, very large screws. Very large indeed. I'm just going to plug those back in because there's nothing worse than plugging it all back in, screwing it all together, and then finding out that all of a sudden it doesn't work because you forgot to plug the top into the bottom. And then, and then he says, Building up the tension here, because you all know what's coming, or you should do. This bad boy a charger. It's the works WA3867. Let's get it in the frame. It's about there, I think, in the centre of the frame. Um, it really is um, a naughty piece of kit. This is. Uh, before I open it up, 
uh, I'm going to say I'm not going to go any further than just go, <gasps> there it is. Um, it's got a lot of, it's, it's, it's got two 400 volt capacitors. Um, well, actually it's got four in total. You've got two 400 volt, I think they're something stupid, like 100, 120 or 68. So let's have a look. I think you can only see one of them. Yeah, they're 120 microfarads. 400 volts and there's two of them um that just basically means that if you get shocked it it will generally probably kill you don't ever take one of these apart um please for the love of god your led indicator light is there you've got a very large transformer here that converts 240 volts into your 21 volts output you've also got a cooling fan here that cooling fan is nestled nicely in there again i'm not going to touch it just in case i accidentally slip and touch one of the caps um they're really really painful i don't want to have to go through that again um you also got a t-type cap underneath there as well as a couple of other coils on the other side of that i'd expect to see some smds um they're nothing really amazing uh, nothing that you haven't seen before with the smaller two amp batteries or battery charger rather um and the blinking conditions are green fully charged flashing green pumping up Solid red, the battery's knackered, flashing red, it's overheated. And that's all very well and good, but then let's have a look at the times on the battery charger for the 3867. And that's when it gets really interesting because wherever it is, oh yeah, it's in the inside here. So it outputs six amps which is huge amount of power. It also does the 14.4 volts to 20 volts as well. It's 160 watt, that's mad amount of power. Absolutely mad. Uh, it's lithium ion, because we all know that. Four to five, um, or even 10 cells. So obviously five cells is one of those, and the six cell are these. Um, now forgive the math here, but um, I think this is wrong because um, I can do math, honest. <laughs> sure you haven't figured it out for now. Um, so a two amp battery, according to the instructions, will take 25 minutes. According to my mathematics, six amp output divided by two amp hour equals, well, a third, um, which is in this case, um, basically a third of an hour, which is 20 minutes. Um, though it reckons it does in 25. I assume again, that's just due to the fact being because it's so powerful, um, it gets too hot and it has to do a cool down sequence. A three amp hour, I don't think three amp hour batteries exist in the UK, but it doesn't mean 38 minutes. Um, that's approximately, anyway. I mean, they're never fully discharged, so they won't ever actually take that long. Not that 25 minutes is actually that long for a battery to charge at all. Um, the four amp battery, which is this one here, uh, will charge in 45 minutes. It's 40, honest. Look, six amp divided by the four, that equals, well, it's, it, either way, it, it, it's, it's 40 minutes, all right? Look. So if you get six amp and divide it by four, it equals, well, it doesn't actually go anything, it's not the maths I'm trying to do. Six minus four equals two. 60 divided by two is 30, but uh, you know what? Um, it's 40 minutes. It says it's 45 minutes. I, I don't know. <laughs> and the six amp power battery, bear in mind it's six amp rated charge current is 70 minutes which is longer than the one hour it should take. Maybe the, the fan that's in there and all the beefiness to it um, saps some of the six amp output. I'll put it down to that. Um, but yeah, it's, like I said, I ain't no way going anywhere near other than going. It's a charger. You can sap up all of it you want on that, but I ain't going anywhere. And so rounds up chargers. So badly only took 25 minutes, except there's one more. Actually, there's two more. One of them I don't have. It's here. It's the 20 volt battery charger. It's quintessentially exactly the same as this. Only difference is instead of having 240 volt input, it just goes to uh, 12 volts straight in and then actually uses a uh, something very similar to a T-type um, T capacitor 
that actually boosts the voltage from 12 volts to 20 volts and then uh, distributes it to the rest of the board in a nominal, nominal way. Because, um, yeah, I couldn't get hold of a 12 volt in car one. But there is another charger. Um, this isn't Tom Fool or anything. Um, this is a weird way in which I can get the uh, review on it as well. <laughs> so let me just alter this. Let's come right up to there. Let's see how much of a mess my desk is in. But this is the works fan. It's got a code number of WX. 095.9 and if you put a 2 amp hour battery in the back of it here it's very dusty I do apologize I work in my workshop I don't just film in it um, and you have a couple of buttons on the side here you've got power and then you've got two speeds so you can have some air con well not even air con it's just going to blow your hot air around but you can see what the frame rate at 60 frames per second is like so it goes forward or backwards that's very cool and then you turn it off and then you take this handy plug adapter which is a standard dc plug it outputs one amp of um of AC power which converts it then into 20 volts and it puts out 1500 milliamp. If I have a little power supply in here and then undo this bung on the side this light here starts flashing and indicating that it's charging. So this actually doubles up as a fan and a charger. Obviously, if I turn it on, it charges and spins the fan simultaneously. With it off, it's going to give its maximum charge. I don't know how fast the fan actually charges it at. That theoretically is a fully charged battery. Um, it is concordant to every other device that I've got, but it's, ah, there we go, right on cue. Um, oh, was that a little charge? Or was it just me moving the plug? I don't know. It's thinking about it, it, it it's, it's having a float around. I think it's probably because it's very, very cold in my workshop currently, um, and I'm too tight to put the heating on, but it's Having a charge, not having a charge, having a charge, not having a charge. But either way, there you go. Uh, it's got a built-in charger, so theoretically this is a uh, an extra charger in the range. If you're looking for a suitable charge and go product, I can't recommend it enough. But also, if you don't have a battery at all, and you buy it bare unit only, it still works plugged into the mains. So no battery in it. Yep. There's no battery in it at all. I don't know why that just suddenly shut off, but probably a dodgy lead. I don't use it enough, to be honest. I really don't. I usually use it battery packs. Uh, it's also really good for discharging battery packs. Um, we have any little sort of side feature it has. I can remember rightly, it's about. Depends on whether you run it on high mode or mo high low high 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 load high mode or low mode. Um, depends on whether or not it lasts. I think it's four hours. It lasts with a two amp battery, and if you then run it on fast mode, it only lasts about forty five minutes. Uh, but high mode is very very blowy, um, and it just certainly keeps you cool in the summertime. Nothing like around now where it's about four degrees. It's uh, about 42, 43 degrees Fahrenheit for uh, the American people out there. Um, so yeah, that is chargers and the general gist of chargers for the works range. Uh, as always, guys, um, let's go quickly. Flash right out, there we go. So we should put it in the cradle. Let's... 
facing you. There you go. Um, as always, guys, um, thank you very much for the support of the channel. Um, we'll just pass 30 minutes. Um, yeah, um, I've been Mike. Um, I'm going to take a bit of a break from doing videos for a while because I'm away for work. Um, I've got two weeks away, then I'm back for like a day, and then I'm away for another two weeks. Uh, and then it's my wife's birthday, so no works tools for me. Sad face. Um, but no, um, yeah, I'll be back. Um, I've got an interesting video to do next. Um, it's sort of like one of those, well, why the hell not do it in the middle of winter? You'll see. Um, we're going to be reviewing this. Um, the soap bottle adapter for the Works Hydro Shot. And I really cannot wait because my car is absolutely filthy. I've been taking it off road and getting it really, really mucky. Specifically to get it really dirty so that the rain can then clean it off before I get a chance to actually use the snow foam lance adapter. Yeah. Well, what'd you expect? Um, as always, guys, stay safe and um, I shall see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.